to London Paris episode one. I would like to give a little introduction about myself and my background and where I come from. Um, I am a music artist under Hattie Bit Music Group. Um, I also a plus size model and an influencer. Yes, honey. <laughs> I'm 27 years old and I am from Dominican Republic. So, and I just actually just had a birthday come up too. For sex, shout out to Aries Game. Whoop, whoop. Yes. So, my guest that I have with us today was born and raised in the south of Midland, Texas. If I could describe my guest, I would I describe him as a jack of all trades. A a born a hustler, for sure. <laughs> A man who never stops dreaming. Like, he is an amazing guy. I, I met him maybe a couple of weeks ago. We chopped it up about music, um, what, what he's doing in the enter entertainment industry. He's, he's an amazing guy. And I'm just glad to have him on this show with, with us. So we are going to go on our first break, and we will be back with Southside Dan. I would like to introduce my guest, Sasai Dam. How are you, sweetie? How are you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? I'm good. That's good. I am doing well. It's nice to see you. Definitely. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I would like to get into um, some questions I would like to ask you. Mm -hmm. um, the first question that I have for you. Um, so first thing I would like, how did you get your name? Where well, I grew up, my name was Lademan. They always call me Lademan. I was short, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was active. So shit, they gave me D-Man. And then I ran over there. I'm from the south side. You know, I'm from P-Block originally. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I like to be the mayor of Midland myself. So shit, I took the south side and I ran with it. Awesome. Well, that's a really creative, unique name. And it represents where you came from, you know? So it has history. So who is Southside Dam? Tell the tell the culture who is who are you? Really, I'm a I'm an artist, but I like to consider myself an entrepreneur. You know, I'm just a guy with a lot of hustles, and I'm trying to uh, basically, you know, what I'm saying, break generational curses and shit that's been going on in my neighborhood for a long time and in my family. Like I said, I'm just a man. I'm just a man with a plan. That's how I just like, it. Yeah. Always have to have a plan. You have yeah. to, especially in this music industry. Yeah, for sure. Yes. So, um, how did you first get into music? Well, I've been rapping since a shorty. You know what I'm saying? I came up rapping type shit. I used to rap at little parks and festivals and shit of that nature. And I really knew I had some when my cousin told me, like, bro, you really got something. Like, you really good at this. We used to practice in the back. I don't know if people remember <laughs> Spring Bling back in the day. They used to have, like, the spring break thing for uh, BT. 
And I started mm-hmm. rapping with my cousin. He in the back, he used to play the drums yeah. off the little baskets and shit. And uh, yeah. he act like we performing and my other cousin would be the challenger. And I used to act like it was millions of people around me. Yes. Okay, so you you have a you so you've been doing this for a very long time. This yeah. has just been coming about. You've been doing this since birth. Yeah. Music always been my passion, but I always been one foot in, one foot out. Now I'm strictly just with the music. Yeah. Most definitely, you know, you like to, you know, give you trials and errors, but at the end of the day, you're back at it. You're doing what you love to do. You know, you don't allow those obstacles to come in your way and stop you from your assignment from God, right? Definitely. definitely. That's how you have to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how would you describe your music? I got a lot of pain music. I got a lot of pain music. I like uh, (laughs) I like to talk about real life. I like to talk about real situations, you know. I can do the party and music. I can do the club music and all of that shit of that nature. I can make hit singles. But I really like to just give them my story, you know, my background, where I come from, how I'm living and how I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? I know somebody else can relate. It's relatable yeah. music. Yeah, because I know if I'm listening to somebody's song, I want to be able to relate to the lyrics. Like, I'm not the type of uh, person to listen to a song and be like, oh, that beat goes hard. Da, da, da. Yeah. I, I want to listen to your lyrics. What, where are you coming from? Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I most definitely can really as an artist myself. So that's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Most definitely. Um, So what is your creative process when you're in the studio? So like, what, what is your creativity? When I hit a beat, I really just go with the flow. Like if the beat talking to me, then I'm talking back to it. You know, I like to go with the flow. I like the vibe, the melody. And my studio family that I'm going to right now, they give me the time to just, you know, express myself, uh, the space, the privacy, just to be able to open up. So whatever beat or whatever vibe I come in feeling, that's how I'm going with it. Most definitely. And I think that you touched on something too, and I think that's important. Like when you when you have a team, you should always yeah. be able to. Um, have that close bond with your team because they feel like it, it wouldn't be right, right? Yeah, for sure. And creating that connection, yes. Yeah. I like that. You gotta have a positive team. You gotta have members around you who want to see you succeed. If you don't, then shit, you're just gonna be in the studio getting drunk, getting high, with that's it. and everything that's around you. Know Bob over there bobbing his head, nod, nod, going <laughs> you know, TikTok and Snapchat. My team right. like that. We all the way locked in. We trying to have some motion going on. Oh, yeah, most definitely. You can't be going in there playing and, and joking around, smoking, drinking. Like you're, you're here to, you know, to make it somewhere. You're here to get somewhere. Yeah. So you yeah. go in there playing and you out of there. You out of there, right? <laughs> most definitely. So um, if you could open up for any artist in the world, who, who would it be? Like, who Broadway. would you open up for? Broadway. That's my guy. Okay. Like, you know, like when I meet him, I done met a lot of artists in this industry. You know, I done ran across a lot of guys, did a lot of work with a lot of guys. I know you done did your background research a little bit on me. So I know, you know, I had a relationship with Mo3, Trap Boy, you know what I'm saying, Boosie, situations of that nature. But Raw Way, one of the guys, like when I finally meet him, I'm a hug. Yeah. I'm a Ray. hug. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> hug. Right into my arms. Yeah, I'm a hug because, like, bro, you really seen me through some hard times, you know? Right. Yeah, like we really went through some situations together and I felt like he was right next to me, like he was talking to me and that's what kept me going through some dark times. Yeah. Yeah. You always need that motivator and that confirmation from yeah. the people around you. Yeah, it, it just makes you, it makes your day go go by and it, it just makes you feel loved and appreciated for, for the things that you are doing in this industry. So yeah. that's, a, that's a good thing. Yeah, and it helps you, it help you realize that Somebody else is going through the same thing as you. Somebody else can survive that same situation that you're talking about. They don't yeah. do that. They don't walk through that. Yeah. You can do it. Been there, done that. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm to these rappers and everybody telling my man, I got a million bricks. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I got the Lamborghini. I don't live with <laughs> him. He ain't got no Lamborghinis, man. At like all. It's happening, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know that's rental. <laughs> yeah, not for real. Facts. 
Yeah, it's we're all about originality over here. You know what I mean? So I, I totally get you. You know, you you can't pick up, pick, put out this fake persona about who you are because your fans want to see the real you. They want to see you bring you to the table. So I, I totally you. understand. They want to grow with you. If you don't give them the opportunity to grow with you and you just put yourself at this pinnacle before beforehand, before you even go through the trials and the error, like if Michael Jordan came in the game and he was just saying he was the best without showing it, then it wouldn't even be reality. You know what I'm saying? Like the fans got to grow with him. They seen Michael get uh, cut off the team. They seen him in the gym. You know, they seen him putting them hours to be the great. So they felt like they helped them build up that. And that's what the fans want. Yeah, that's what they want to see. Like, like we, they already have a Mo3. They already have a GZ. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they want to see something different brought to the table. They don't want to keep seeing the, the same themes recycled over and over again in the music industry. Not for real. Like, yeah, and it goes back to like the whole everybody having the same name. Like, what is up with that? Like, yeah. They don't know. Sure. <laughs> yeah, these niggas ain't trying to stand out no more. That's why I try to be transparent in everything I do. I let them know, like, I'm fresh home. You know, I came from a real situation. I got a real background. Like, everything that they rapping about, I was really out there doing from A to Z. And we can talk about that, like, and it's so easy for the music because it's my reality. I'm not just coming in a booth and making up some shit. Like, this really what was going on with me. And the, the proof is in the pudding. If you think I'm lying, you can Google me. These is facts. These is government That's facts. Right. You know, I'm like, right. really went through this. So. Talk your shit, honey. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. Because you see a lot of these artists says that, that goes in the booth and they just rap about what they feel like the world wants to hear. Yeah. You know, yeah, they, they do. But it's all about keeping it original, keeping it 100 with yeah, everything that you do in life. Yeah, most definitely. I, I believe in that. I'm yeah. sure. They can respect that a lot more in the long run, you know? Yes, they will. They were. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> it's gonna be hard for you. Like it's gonna be hard for you whenever you taking the the genuine route, the real route, and you ain't faking it till you make it. You ain't buying no fake views. You ain't capping. You ain't jumping in no rentals or doing this and that. But that part. It go back to Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? What he used to say, like, "This is real. We building our foundation on you know solid ground. If you build yeah, your house yeah. with mud, when the wind blow, that motherfucker gone. We build this part. solid ground bricks. That part." You're all absolutely right about that. You, when you build a foundation, you gotta stand on that shit, right? Yeah, you gotta. You gotta stand say, on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't build a foundation, right? And it's not original. Like, come on now. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. And you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom too to give to the people. So I'm definitely glad that you, you're on this show because your voice. It's like an echo, and what I mean by by an echo, you're 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 leader yeah. for anything. Yeah. Sure. And I try yes. to keep that in mind. I be trying to keep that in mind because I got a lot of young guys following me. I got a lot of people in the streets who even old heads. Like man, you're ahead of your time. You know, you can be the one. If you don't make it, yeah. you probably won't make it, man. So I be just trying to plant the seed in their head and let them know that man, we got light. Like yes. whatever we put our mind to, this is what we can do. Yes, you can. Whatever God has for you is for you, right? Yeah. And the only person that can stop it is, is you. Is you. Nobody for else. Sure. For sure. Yeah. Most definitely. Um, so what is your biggest strength do you have, like, as far as like a musician? My ability to network and fit in different rooms. You know, like I can go from the streets, I can talk slang, I can talk in chronology, I can uh, you know, I can thug with the best of them. But then I could turn around and put on this suit and tie and go in these corporate rooms, you know. It was uh, these deals in these situations for us on a, on a, uh, how do I put it? Not on a legal end, but on a, um, on a business tip type of situation, you know. But I could still go in the streets. Like, I'm respected in the streets and the corporate offices. Because they know I've been through real shit and I got a story to tell. And then I go here, I got knowledge, you know. I study. I like to sit back and, you know, read people. I study the grace from Master P on down, from P to QCP, you know. Like the bosses from Birdman, despite what they say about him, these are dudes who built million dollar yeah. legacies from the ground, you know, from the same environments yeah. I came from. So I can I can jug it. A lot of people can't jug it, you know. Not at all. Man, Not at all. Because yeah, you're right about that. You got a lot of artists out here who 
tells me music is about going in the booth and just, rec you know, recording. But no, it's, it's about more than that. You got to have the business aspect of things. So you got to, you have knowledge and wisdom of your craft. You got to study it. And yeah. I feel like that's so important because a lot of music artists don't take the time out to study their craft, to know the ins and outs of the business. Like, that is so important to be. Like, it's a music yeah. business. You know, yeah. you got the music, then you got the business in. It's, it's all the business that we'll never hear about who streaming numbers is doing numbers and they creating, you know, passive income just off of creating music because they know the business. And then yeah. you got guys who get millions of views but they're not getting paid off of this because they don't know what they're doing, you know, and that's how they yeah. get fucked and get inside of these 360 contracts or they ended up building up all these other people's pages instead of building up their own. That's what we're trying to create, okay. our own, you know, our own ecosystem. Everything getting housed from the merch to the music. Everything yeah. getting housed. Yeah, most definitely. And that is a man leak. <laughs> I can't even stress that enough to other music artists. And I, I feel like if a lot of music artists understood that, they would, like you said, they would be more successful. But a lot of people don't have um, confirmation where yeah. they can go to somebody and be like, oh, this is what you need to be doing. This is like, they don't have that team behind them encouraging yeah. them to study their craft. So, yeah. We're blessed. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what YouTube fuck. You yeah, guys sit around and watch TikTok all day, man. YouTube out here getting free game away. It's yeah, free ninety nine. Yeah. You can click how to make this, and it's there. I just seen a nigga build a car with his hands. You know, <laughs> off of YouTube, it's all off. It's all off of what you want to spend your time doing, man. You know, time is very precious. You can't get that yes, back. So you might just well spend it doing something productive. You're right about that. You got it. You got to like find time. You do. Yeah, yeah you, you do. do. You have to. Time is of the essence, you know? Yes, it is. Like, the, the, the situation and shit I just came from, I had a silly man, like, I'm getting ready to go home. He been in here since 96. He yeah. been in here longer than I've been alive, and he like, man, youngster, if I had your shoes right now, like, I don't know what I'd do. And I just be taking that to run with it, because I got so many guys that's locked up and they calling me every day and they just encouraging me and pushing me like bro you making us proud you know it's bigger than you it's bigger than you yes, it is, everything honey. that you do is right on us he telling me before i left my guy telling me my cellar he like man i'm living through you if you wow. yeah and that's one thing time you can get that back man you can't get that no you can't because not a lot of people get that get that either told to them yeah that you left like like that's that oh that just gave me chills like yeah, <laughs> like up, and that's what you see like this music industry mm -hmm. is bigger than both of us you know what i mean you are a leader and i've seen that from first hand the way you speak to your fans your crowd it's like you're not doing it for attention. You're doing it for respect. And that's yeah. one thing that stood out to me about you as a music artist. You're not trying to be like everybody else. You're trying to be self like damn. You're not trying to copy off of anybody, yeah. riding a wave. You know what I mean? You're, you're you. Yeah, that's it. And that's what drawn me to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You got to stay in your own lane. You know, it's, it, it's too many. It's too many young boys right now. Yes, everybody's on, everybody doing this and everybody doing that, but they ain't talking about. I feel like I'm the yin and the yang. I'm the yang of the situation. Like I, I give you real. Yeah, yeah. You know, that on, but I mean, you know, it's a lot that come with it. You know, you I just know it's bricks, but it's a lot more that come with that too. Yes, it does, honey. It's a lot more than where that comes from. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, um, tell me about your favorite performance. My favorite show. I had to say it would be with a uh, Kodak. Yeah, oh wow! Oh yeah, it was with Kodak. That was my guy, man. Really, dude, really, just a whole different type of guy. You know, a whole different type of vibe. Real street guy. And it was just like, uh, it was a live way the way that the fans reacted to my music. You know, singing it word for word. We got that documented on YouTube. You know, you can go back and watch that. They were singing my music back to me word for word. It was a surreal moment. You know, it gave me goosebumps. It was like one of the moments, like. And confirm like all right you're on the right path you connect yeah yeah you connected it's like a cat in the candy store right <laughs> yeah, not for sure. yeah. Like, that. like 
butterflies. I don't even get them. <laughs> I got butterflies. I was nervous. I was nervous. Really? <laughs> Yeah, you're like you, because you you didn't you never thought of you being in that position. Yeah. But but you but see at the end of the day, like I said, like like I go go back to it. Mm -hmm. God has an amazing calling on your life, yeah. so you're gonna get it, you're gonna get more. You're gonna yeah. get more performances like that. For sure. Because for sure. people out here they see you. And when you work hard, that's what happens. You know, you get big performances like that. You you get people that has respect for you mm -hmm. in this industry. Yeah, you're right. See, I'm What's a firm believer in the law of attraction. Like you know, like I said, we used to play those uh, drums in the backyard, and we used to see this. Yeah. <laughs> and now to actually see it in front of us, it's kind of like it's mind boggling. It's mind blowing. But it's like, damn, we've been waiting on this for so long, and actually seeing it is, is crazy. It's almost scary. It's almost scary. Yeah. Understood. Understood. Hmm. Yeah. So um, we are going to take a break, and we'll be, we'll be back hmm. with Southside Dam after the break. Yeah, for sure. We're here. Yes, we're in the building. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Lady Luck, and I'm here with the homie, Big Wall, and you are now tuned in to Address the Culture, where we're addressing everything in the culture. Keep it locked. Z, man. Stay tuned in, man. We just getting started, man. We addressing the culture. December of 2016, that's Great. the last time we saw we did an intervention tape. Okay. And um, the intervention would show more detail about what was going on, how Jocelyn looked. She didn't look like herself. She like she had lost round about. She weighed about 90 pounds. And Jocelyn was roughly about average, about 120, somewhere like that. Wow. She looked totally different. And it, it, it really tore my heart up to see my daughter look that way. You think you've heard the truth? You think you know it all? But you haven't heard anything until you hear Tim Savage's side of the story. On the next Let's Talk with Big Wall and Lizette, we sit down with Timothy Savage, Jocelyn's father, to get his side of the story. Be sure to tune in. Is there anything you want to say to your daughter? Yeah. One thing I want to say to my daughter. We are back with Southside Dam and break. So I'm going to ask a few more questions and I ain't going to take too much of your time. No, um, sure. so, I definitely appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. And, and I appreciate you being here on my show for sure. Like, it's, yeah, it's, sure. It's, it's, a, it's an honor for sure. I cannot miss it. I cannot miss it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, what accomplishments like, do you see yourself achieving in the next five or 10 years? Financial freedom. Ooh. You know, when I say that, a lot of people be like, man, what you mean by that, man? Financial literacy, like and what we teach to the guys that's abundant me. That's what I'm learning every day. That's what I'm teaching myself. So what I mean by that, as far as financial freedom, I feel like we're going to be able to do whatever it is that we want to do whenever we want to do it. We're going to own yes. businesses. We're going to have different sources of income. And we're gonna be buying back our hood, you know. Yes. We're gonna be buying back our situation. We've been gentrifying everything around here. 
I've been seeing a lot of black owned businesses and, you know, just black neighborhoods being pushed outside of their neighborhood and forced to go everywhere else. But my idea goal is to run up the sack so high that we got another black Wall Street. We're going to be a problem. Period. Period. It's called generational wealth, honey, for sure. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, yes, it is. And you can and you can be that for your 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 culture, your your hood. You know, yeah. just by continue to keep doing what you're doing and going in the right direction. And that's what you are doing. When yeah. you continue your music, continue yeah. to push your music and all that money is it's gonna come. It's yeah. gonna come yeah. to you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's so, you see, you see what? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been coming in. So we're going to get a lot more of it in the future. Because you're humbled. And God yeah. honors humbleness. Yeah. 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 Most yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, what would you like to say to your supporters? Like, who have been supporting you throughout your whole journey of your music career? I'm forever in debt. Like, I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. You know, they're a representation of me. And without the people, I wouldn't be nothing. You know, I wouldn't be on a platform or a pedestal that I'm on if it wasn't for the people. So it's not about me. It's about y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely appreciate everybody that support me. You know, whether you liking the post, sharing the post, streaming the music, buying the album, whatever role that you play, and even my team, like whatever role that you play, whether it's minor or major, you know, all of it go hand in hand, you know, without the picture. You wouldn't have a team without the shortstop. You wouldn't have a team, you know, without the outfield. You wouldn't have a team. So everybody that's playing their position, I appreciate them because, you know, it build a strong team. It build a yeah. strong team. So it takes I a village. Right? Rocking with me. Yeah, so. it takes a village. Yeah, most definitely. And it's, a, and, and it's hard to find genuine people to be mm -hmm. behind you, too. Yeah. So when you when you do find those genuine people, yeah, you gotta you gotta hold them close to your heart because it's 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 a lot going on out here. <laughs> yeah, so, it definitely is, you know. It's yeah, lot, it's a lot of flip flop, wishy weird shit. Yes, it is, honey. <laughs> and it, trust me, I I know that too well. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm just now adjusting back to it, so I'm kind of like, woo, it's taking me fast, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, and you're doing a good job at it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I said, keep working hard and you're gonna get where you wanna be. Yeah. You 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 don't have you don't worry about your past and where you used to be because yeah. your past is not you. That's not who you are. Yeah. You're a whole different South Side Dam. Like you're giving them the you're giving them the new and approved South Side Dam. Okay, honey. Yeah, say that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like so um, better. Most definitely, you came back stronger, and that's all that matters. Yeah, you're yes. right about that. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna close out the show. It was nice meeting you. It was nice having you on my show. Um, we're definitely gonna have to do some music together. Come up, come up with a song together. You know, I'm a music artist myself. You know, gotta represent. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah, I heard you on the intro. It got me over here, like, you know, getting ready to yeah. do it. I like it. I like it. I'm with it. Yes. And I love your energy and the energy that you bring to your music. And I feel like energy matters in your in your music. Yeah. If you don't have energy, I don't want to listen to it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't hear no negative, Nancy. You know, we trying to bring it to them. That we part. <laughs> Period. Yes. So um, I definitely cannot let you leave without telling the fans where you where they can find you on all social media platforms. You can find me at Southside D Man on everything. You know, just type in Southside D Man Instagram, Southside D Man Fo. You know, F O L forever, man. Go ahead, tap in with me on TikTok, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music, every platform that you can name. Just type in Southside D Man, and I will pop up. Definitely will. Yes, honey, you heard that. Period. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So it's your girl, aka oh, London Paris LP. Oh, Southside, stop, drop by with your girl. Um, yeah. We will be right back here in a couple of more weeks, right here on Address the Culture. 
Like yeah. I said, thank you so much for stopping by and giving the fans a little bit about yourself. And we will, we will, we will stay connected for sure. This won't be the end. Definitely, I definitely appreciate y'all having me. Address the culture, Nadine. Anytime, thank you. All right. Out. In the group dream, I was a teenager. So I, we were surrounded by a lot of toxicity. So, oh, hell, you don't have to explain as to why you didn't do or why you didn't do this or why you didn't do that. And it was because of my husband standing there as my pillar of strength. That would be oh, the ultimate is to have my life back. <laughs>